a hydraulic jump stealing basin USBR Type 3 was developed for a relatively small hydraulic structure with inflow flow number greater than 4 to 4.5. The design was subsequently modified and refined to under lower inflow flow number between 2.5 to 5. The revised design, also called low fraud number stealing basin, can handle larger discharges on lower inflow fraud condition than the USBR Type 3 basin as well as being shorter than the USBR Type 4 basin. The low fraud number hydraulic jump stealing basin consists of a horizontal apron equipped with a row of chute blocks at the upstream end, a row of baffle blocks into the horizontal apron, and a dentated seal row near the downstream end. The low fraud number ceiling basin was designed and tested successfully for inflow condition with smooth invert chute on inflow fraud number between 2.5 to 5, with design application covering unit discharge up to 73 square meter per second. One example is shown here. Like most hydraulic jump stealing basin, the low fraud number stealing basin must operate within a very specific range of tailwater condition with optimum operation when the tailwater death equals the conjugate death. The tailwater death being the death in the downstream natural channel and the conjugate water death is the one which fulfills the Bélanger equation for a hydraulic jump in a smooth horizontal prismatic rectangular channel. The original report on the low fraud number stealing basin recommended that the tail water should be maintained at or slightly higher than T2. In any case, the low fraud number hydraulic jump stealing basin must operate with a tail water that is greater than 80% of the conjugate depth to ensure that the jump does not shift downstream of the apron, as stated by the developer. The length of the low fraud number stealing basin is typically three times the conjugate depth. A shoot block height would be one time the inflow depth, with block width on spacing equal to 70% of the inflow depth. The baffle blocks should be placed in line with the opening of the shoot blocks, and their location are illustrated here. The transverse blockage of the baffle blocks should be between 40% to 45% with the dentated steel height being 20% of the tailwater depth. Note that at higher fraud number, greater than 4, the dentated steel may be placed upstream of the downstream end of the apron. The USBR, low fraud number steel basin, is used for hydraulic structure with stealing basin for relatively small inflow fraud numbers. The length of the basin is considerably shorter than that for the USBR stealing basin type 1 and type 4 for the same inflow conditions. An example of low fraud number stealing basin is the Bielke Peterson Dam in central Queensland, photographed here, taken in November 1997. At the Bielke Peterson Dam, the low fraud number follows a smooth converging chute. The original design flood event corresponded to a unit discharge of 38 square meter per second in the stealing basin, and the physical model tests were performed with the original PMF event corresponding to a unit discharge of 73 square meter per second. Finally, the design engineers must ensure that the hydraulic jump stealing basin can operate safely for a wide range of flow condition, damage, the basin onto the downstream natural bed may occur for a range of reasons illustrated below. The design of hydraulic jump energy dissipator, including the low fraud number stealing basin, constitute a basic application of the equation of conservation of mass, momentum, and energy in open channels, directly relevant to the design of energy dissipators for hydraulic structures. This is discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.